Okay, sir. Today is 29 September 2018, day 4 of hospitalization. This is 10 years old female red gear slider. It's lopsided, you can see that uh, it's lopsided on the right hand side. So it's not swimming levelly. Normally, a normal one, the, the whole therapy can swim levelly, that means horizontally. There's no lopsidedness. Now you can see on the right hand side, it's tilted to the right. So it's lopsided to the right, it swims, and it's not normal. Now, what's the cause of it? So we will check and see. Now, uh, does he eat? Does she eat this 16 year old red year slider? So she does not eat by herself. Since when? When she came in? July. Since July, she came in, she wasn't eating at all. And we have the strange feet with critical care and the pellets. And that's how she survives up to now. She was a uh, strange fed by the owner the past how long? Past month, I think. Yeah, one month. One month. And uh, so that's why she's surviving. I put her down on the on the flat here. See whether she can walk or not. She looks much better. Now let's see whether she can walk on the. Is she more active or not? Normally, the slider will walk when you put on the flat surface, and you can see that uh, it's quite alert, but it does not seem to be able to walk or swim. Turn upside down and see. See any movement upside down? Okay, we put upside down. Now, a normal slider will try and turn back to the normal upright position. But you can see from this one that there is no, no, no activity, no action. And you see below the skin is pink in color. This is usually inflammation. And uh, you see there is no attempt to turn upright. Okay, we turn, we turn up right again. I put on the slope here, the slope. We put on the slope, slope. See whether she can walk downwards, no slope. Uh, now other red ear sliders, when they are normal, they will, they will move downwards. This one doesn't seem to move much. Okay, what was the weight on arrival? 1. Day, day 1. 1.47. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Day 4 today? 1.47. Yes, about the same weight. We really strange fit, fit her with critical care and the pellets, right? And also multi bites. But uh, uh, the, she came in because of constipation and uh, put it back first. And uh, we will see the x ray first. We will see the x ray, x ray results. Okay, you see the x ray. Give me the first day, the x ray. The x ray on the first day. Okay, Judy, you just read a bit. What is that? July. July second, two thousand eighteen. Red ear slider, female, sixteen years old. Later G, anorexia. There was a vet complaint. One on by the vet, is it vet one? Yeah, this actually was done by vet one, and and he diagnosed uh, anything constipation. Yeah, the vet one diagnosed constipation. Okay, so the the extra we took. The next two. The, the other one first. Oh, this is the this from the vet, right? This on the one. Yeah. Okay, I see the second X-ray, the lateral view. Uh, the vet diagnosed constipation, cause owner fed chicken meat and veggies for the past six months. Uh, but the sibling is normal. Now there were some stools actually stuck at the vent. Show the vent, the cloaca around here. Okay, so. So we give uh, laxatives, oil. See, let's see the next one. The second time we x-ray. Okay, uh, and actually enlarge a bit. You can't enlarge it. So, okay. So, there's six. so uh, August 27, we take the x-ray. What, what's the what is stated there? Film lob sighted to the right after a few days of three drops of oral calcium from vet one. Okay, so... Anorexia for two months. Mm, anorexia two months, not eating for two months, and uh, the the red year seller came to us on August twenty seven. That means about two months later, right? So this is the X-ray done with Topio Vest. Any lateral view? No lateral view. Okay, so we we noticed that uh, the right hand side 
is radio dense and that that uh, is shown on the on the lopsidedness of the radius slider just now it was lopsided on the right hand side and uh, now what is that white radio dense material okay that one I suspected was the right uterine horn and we see the x-ray again recently one okay that's so you see the third time we x-rayed now recently the radio slider came in for constipation so we took an x-ray and you see the radio dense material is still on the right hand side and uh, the slider is still swimming lopsided on the right hand side as if something heavy is a uh, is a uh, uh, weighing her down on the right hand side as you can see just now in the video the slider swims lopsided to the right that means the right side appears to be sinking and heavier and this is confirmed by x-ray and up to now since July okay this is the lat lateral view and we can see some stools there as well the owner complained she was not passing stools for five days so and she was not eating, she has been syringe fed again the same critical care and uh, pellets and this x-ray did show some stool stuck inside the cloaca okay let's look at the, the dorsal ventral view back to the dorsal ventral view as you can see that the digestive system is okay I mean in a sense that the stools can come out but uh, this white stuff is still there, radio dense. And uh, the strange thing is, come point to the, there seems to be a spread to the left hand side, the top part. Uh, there seems to be. A, so this part is surprising. Uh. Okay, now we look at the stools. Uh. Now it came here, the stools. The stools are uh, passed out after laxative oil was given. This is the recent one. Is there another stool? No, any. Uh, any video on this? No. Hmm. So let's see. I think the same one. Day. The other day, one we gave laxative uh, enema on the on the clay car. This is the same, same one. Is that? The first day. But anyway, come to. Do you do that one? Okay. Any more? This is the first day. First day, come back first, yeah. Welcome. First then, day. And this one is the second day. Second day, so they did pass two, so after the enema and the yes, oil laxative, yeah. So it's going home today. Today is day four anymore. No more, no any more, more any video? No. no doubt. But you can still see it's lopsided, it's, it's uh, sinking on the right hand side. You can see even on this image, yeah. Okay, so now. We are going to go out again and see and close the case. So, so far it's not eating for two months. And uh, it's not eating for two months. And as you can see, you can see it's really uh, confirmed that it's sinking on the right hand side. And other than that, it's only survived from the owner feeding, strange feeding. Huh? No, at least it's more active. If you see the earlier video, it wasn't really moving about two months ago. But the appetite hasn't come back yet. And uh, put it down horizontal. And uh, the, the right hand side, the radio dense material must be egg yolk and shells, egg shells. In the inside the uterus they have a uh, cost calcification in the right uterine horn so you can see that uh, the right side uh, is heavier come can, can come further up here no put a put, put the right ear slider to here and see whether they can swim or not see whether it swims or not you see not swimming much eh? Not swimming much. Is swimming? No. So, about one month of hand feeding, strange feeding, 
the rear slider does pass motion, so the the elementary system, the digestive system is okay. There's no obstruction, and uh, so we will send it back and continues with syringe feeding. Today is day four of inpatient. The stools are cleared, so there was some constipation as diagnosed by VAC1, but the white radio opaque stuff in the right side is likely to be uterine horn, right uterine horn with uh, rotten egg shells and egg yolk already stuck inside. It's like pyometra in, in dogs and it just can't come out. But why it stops eating, we, we don't really know. So we have to continue hand feeding and wait and see whether appetite returns back to normal or not. I shall stop now. Today's what date? September? September 29th. 29th, September 2018. Uh, Saturday, Singapore, Topayo Vets.